Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, so let's pick from the individual zodiacs. Let's see what zodiac sign needs a message today. Um, I did Taurus and Aquarius last night, so I took them two out of the bunch. Um, and I'll add them back in as I'm moving forward. But um, let's just pick from these that I have here now. And let's see who needs a message, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, so we're doing Cancer. Okay, so Cancer needs a message here. So hi, Cancers. <clears throat> let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. All right, so let's get some tea. This deck is called The Tea Has Spilled, okay? <laughs> so let's see, let's get the tea, Cancer. All right, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your morning is going well. So <laughs> this is gonna be for anybody with cancer placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the rose. Take a resume, sleep what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you a lot of love and light and happiness on your journeys. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other <laughs> um, social media platforms, okay? So let's see, Cancer. Let's see what's going on <clears throat> with you all. All right. This deck has two sides to it. So whatever side flips upright. Okay, wow. This is the card that I picked up. Whatever side flips upright, um that I can read, obviously, you know, without it being in reverse <laughs> is the, what I'm going off of, okay? But this card says, good witch casting spells to spread love and abundance. And the other side, it says evil witch casting spells to hold you back and cause you harm. So, okay. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, Cancer. <laughs> All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm cancer and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender, blocking the interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, <laughs> concise, and precise messages for my cancer collective and protect me as I channel the messages here for cancer, please. And thank you, spirit. So let's see, Cancer. <clears throat> so we have, oh, excuse me. So we have cock blocking. They want what you want and is willing to risk it. <clears throat> okay. Extremely religious and judgmental and tries to push their agenda. Mm. More focused on their looks because there is nothing upstairs. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Excuse me. They can't get over you, so they are stalking your social media. Bottom of the deck is taking notes in order to take over. There could be something here that you're doing online, Cancer. Okay. Or you could have a big um, social media presence for some of you. Or you just take really nice pictures. Like, you just look good. I don't know. But it says, yeah, more focused on their looks because there's nothing upstairs. Believes everyone else is going to hell, but they are hypocr hypocrites. <laughs> So somebody could be judging something that you do here. Somebody could be judging how you look like, oh, because you look this way, you shouldn't be doing something. Okay. <clears throat> Cock blocking. They want what you want and is willing to risk it. Cock blocking. Jealous and envious. They can't have what you have. So somebody is willing to, I feel like somebody is willing to put their life on the line or put a lot on the line here just to have what you're, just to have what you have or have who you have or something like that or or to be i don't know somebody's like weird well, let me see <laughs> i don't know that shit is really fucking weird what is this car blocking car spirit Uh, 
know. <laughs> Somebody here ain't got shit to lose. That's what it sounds like to me, guys. It's like they're going to do whatever to push for something. What's this cock blocking card? For they want what you want and is willing to risk it. Or this could be somebody that wants to come towards you. Because <laughs> they want the same thing you want. But they have, maybe they have people around them that are extremely religious and like judgmental. And there could be something that you're doing that's like spiritual. And people around them don't, don't like what it is that you're doing or they're against it. So they're willing to come towards you. But they got this drama around them. So that's why it feels like it's a risk versus somebody just outright being comfortable with doing something you feel what i'm saying like with with approaching you i'm getting deja vu okay what's this card blocking card yeah the ten of swords in the reverse and the four of swords in the reverse <laughs> the devil child this energy you know cancer this energy kind of like feels nasty too i feel it today like for whatever reason the energy is just really disgusting. I don't know if you feel it or what, but some of y'all need to cleanse and <laughs> do some other shit because mm -hmm. Libra, Jupiter here, we got Gemini energy. So yeah, this could be the energy of like somebody here trying to like wake up, okay, with the four of swords. It's like coming out of isolation um <clears throat> coming out of isolation here finding the mental strength to overcome whatever obstacles this is with the ten of swords in the reverse but it just i don't know the devil with the five of cups five of wands or three of cups it, it really feels like yeah it's just something that's something is just not going to work you know, it feels like somebody is trying to, like, come towards you. And maybe they could be trying to cock block you. You could have somebody around you that you are interested in or you enjoy being around. Or they could be, like, your lover, whatever. But then you have somebody else with all this fucking drama. And it's just like, no, with a third party. <clears throat> and I feel like, too, the moment that you start, like really feeling good it's like you feel weird again you know what i'm saying it's like you feel somebody else's energy again it's like damn you can never just have any peace you know what i'm saying somebody's like fucking annoying but the ten of swords i mean and the four of swords i mean if that's your energy i feel like you could be um overcoming whatever obstacles this is whatever this is that's been thrown in your way this could even be like there's, there's a lot of magic going on i just want to say too first like it's a lot of dark magic here going on within the collective. So I don't know. I guess let me know in the comments how you're feeling. But something just feels off. What's the Ten of Swords in the reverse? And it just feels like the energy needs to be cleansed. Yeah, the magician. <laughs> so some of you guys could be overcoming some sort of hex or curse here. Okay. But I feel like this could be you like in a position of power. <clears throat> you're manifesting your desires here you could be needing to do if you're into this you could be needing to do some sort of magic or um you know um maybe incorporate more ritualistic things into your um if you're spiritual like that you could be needing to kind of like cleanse your energy daily it needs to be a daily cleanse here with you <laughs> okay because it just um mm, and it feels like somebody is trying to amp up something too. It's like somebody is trying to like make something stronger or it's just like real fucking weird. You, but the magician talks about um, mental clarity and manifesting everything that you like desire. But let's see, what's the Ten of Swords in the reverse with the magician? Uh, okay, yeah, the hermit in the reverse. So yeah, this, this is somebody here I feel like you got Virgo on your chart, Cancer, okay? This could be somebody, like, coming out of isolation. <clears throat> and you're getting ready to go after your manifestations or you're manifesting and you're just you're just in this energy of attracting. 
there's something that's like being like dismantling with the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's something that is <clears throat> wearing off. It's trying to wear off. I feel like there's energy trying to clear out, but I feel like there's some resistance. I don't feel like you're resisting. I feel like somebody else is like, they don't want to like stop what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? It feels real fucking weird. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like there's good energy coming in for you, though. Three of Wands with the the Wheel of Fortune is like expansion, growth, the different opportunities coming in. There are changes, but I feel like you're welcoming these changes in. And I feel like you're, you're self-assured about moving forward. You have foresight on what you want to be doing. <clears throat> I feel like somebody else is like tripping. There's like something I feel like you're battling or you're having to push through here. Because of somebody else, though. What's the damn four swords in the reverse? <clears throat> Taurus moon. With the six of pentacles. <clears throat> What's the four swords in the reverse with the six of pentacles? The seven of swords. Some of you guys are coming up with a new way here to make money. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah, but you're keeping it quiet. You're keeping it to yourself. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. My throat is like... Oh, damn. A two of cups. When does this flip over? That's you, Cancer. Someone could have a Cancer Venus. Some of you guys have a connection or a relationship here that's coming in. <clears throat> or you're with somebody already. What is somebody trying to take? Is somebody trying to like steal money or something? Or somebody could be trying to sneak and give you like an offer or something like that. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. This risk here, this person needs to stay away from you. Whoever the fuck this is. Okay. <clears throat> but I feel like you could be coming out with some sort of like plan or idea. Yeah, the page of wands. But I feel like you're keeping it to yourself. You're executing some sort of plan. Yeah, six of wands with the ten of pentacles. You're executing some sort of plan here, but you don't want to be detected, so you're keeping quiet. Okay, I feel like you're getting ready to overcome something, or you have. But it's like, what's the seven of swords? It's like somebody don't want you to do it. What's the seven of swords? Whatever it is. <laughs> Too many. What's the seven of swords? Yeah, the, the king of swords in the reverse. Yeah, whoever this is right here <laughs> is trying to come towards you with some shit. Somebody is like lying here. Somebody could be lying about the fact that they need help. Because the four of swords in the reverse is like um <clears throat> somebody that... that Feels like they don't need counseling or therapy. Okay, this could be somebody that's like restless too. They're stressed out. Or this, this four of swords talks about too a lack of like self-protection or just somebody not taking care of themselves properly. I don't know. But this person here is like a liar. They're a big liar. King of Swords in reverse with the seven of swords. Okay, they're, they're definitely lying about something. And I feel like they're trying to get away or sneak away or... <clears throat> comes towards you in a very strategic and methodical way and i just feel like you need to watch out for this fucking person okay this could even be somebody like trying to start an argument or whatever but they're definitely a liar okay somebody's judgment is off they're not making really good decisions okay <clears throat> they could even be lying to somebody else because i feel like they're trying to maybe get away from something or someone else but they're lying to this person about what they're doing where they're headed and it's just causing more drama and chaos in your life with another person with the third party is what i'm getting it's just like what's the seven of swords with the king of swords in the reverse 808 on a clock i feel like this energy needs to be talked about so you can know because it just feels it doesn't feel good yeah the six of wands in the reverse this is <clears throat> 
there could be a lot of people here that's on someone's back here too. Like it's a lot of people that's coming after a particular person. And maybe there, maybe I don't know if you're involved in this person uh, with this person in some sort of way. Yeah, with the eight of wands, the seven of cups, and the five of wands. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people on someone's back. Someone could have money to pay back to some people. Okay, six of wands in reverse, though, is like people with bad intentions, a mob of people. This is like a smear campaign, too. So somebody has is rallying up a smear campaign, or that's what they have did, but they're trying to run away from these people now or something like that. Or somebody's like trying to throw the rock and hide their hand. But yeah, the tower and the three of swords. <clears throat> Somebody here wants what you want, but they're willing to risk it. So it's like, I feel like now some shit has hit the fan cancer and somebody wants to like change tracks. They don't want to stay with, around these people, but it's like they got themselves into something already. Somebody here could need like help or they want you to be generous with them or whatever the fuck. Child by the the queen of pentacles the high priestess the higher fan the emperor you could be in a union okay this could be like a twin flame union or some shit but somebody energy is like really funky with all this stupid ass shit going on in the background what's the six of pentacles you guys would be saying six 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 The Seven of Cups. Somebody. Uh, the Death card, the Eight of Swords, and the Justice. Somebody could be getting the death penalty here. In in jail or. Uh, damn. Or um, this could be like spiritual. Something spiritual going on. Somebody could be going to spiritual jail or something getting ready to happen. I don't know. It doesn't feel too good either, though. It feels like maybe something for somebody else is not looking too good, maybe. Mm -hmm. But we got Scorpio Venus here. What's this Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups? Okay, yeah, the devil here. Somebody somebody is not able to be saved. This person ain't got no protection. Four swords in the reverse. I feel like either they're awakening and realizing something or people around them is realizing something about this person, okay? Because I feel like this is about somebody else right now, Cancer. Um, but it's involving you, obviously. That's why it's coming up. Um, or this is like somebody that is like they're, they are fucked up. They just fucked up. This could even be like the worst is yet to come for somebody because they about to get some real bad karma. Because I feel like you're detaching from this person. There's something that maybe you were a savior. This person could hide behind you or they were clout chasing and use your name. They bring your name up in a lot of things. And I feel like now this person can't do that. So now they're trying to get away. They're trying to run away here. I feel like this person is just really fake too. They're really inauthentic. They're a loser. Whoever this king of swords is. And now there's a lot of people on this person's back or wanting to know certain things about this this lie or whatever the fuck. But I feel like you're detaching with the devil in the reverse. <clears throat> and I feel like you've gotten your power back. And somebody's like confused because maybe normally they will, able, they will be able to use your name for something or power up off of you in some sort of nasty way. I feel like maybe some sort of like curse or hex or something is breaking too, but but... Some sort of confusion is like clearing up on your end, but it's getting even more confusing for someone else. <clears throat> like dead ass. You can have some sort of financial help that's coming in. So you could be awakening to like a gift that you have or a money making idea. Okay, but I feel like you're in this position of power and authority and somebody's like confused as to why they cannot attach themselves to you no more, whatever way this is. Okay, somebody has stirred up a whole bunch of shit and now they gotta they gotta own up to it and I feel like they're trying to sneak away, okay, or whatever. What's the um <clears throat> 
a child was extremely <clears throat> religious here and judgmental and tries to push their agenda somebody here the chariot i'm not taking those two i'm gonna take what flipped over cancer all them cars coming out it's like it's confusing me right now. I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to pick apart what this is. <laughs> What's this extremely religious and judgmental and tries to push their agenda? The sun. Okay, somebody could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. This could be you or this could be this other person, whatever. But So, yeah, I feel like this is you, Cancer. This could be you overcoming obstacles here. You're being triumphant or you're coming out successful in whatever it is that you do. I feel like you could be uplifting a lot of people as well. Something about fruit could be significant. Some of y'all need to take in, like, more fruit and, and maybe vegetables, too, is what I'm getting. <clears throat> okay, I don't know. I just heard something about strawberries. I guess go look up the benefits of strawberries or what what um they have in it that, that you might need. <clears throat> okay. I don't know, but strawberries are significant. Um, or vitamin D here with the sun is what I'm getting. Some sort of like maybe vitamin D supplement, okay, or um, fruits that got vitamin D in it. Or you need to absorb some sun, okay, yeah, with the sun right here. So I feel like you're moving forward here with confidence. This is like freedom, opt optimism. So I feel like you're free from something here and you're pushing through whatever challenges that you have faced. Or that you are facing here. Yeah, I feel like there's something that's being exposed to. A lot is coming out. This is like enlightenment. We got the sun right here. The moon is here. Something could have happened around this full moon. Something was exposed to you around the full moon here. I feel like um, the confusion is clearing away. I feel like your hard work, your determination, and your focus has really um has really um helped you move forward. So what's the chariot? The seven of wands. Okay, yeah, standing up for what you believe in, protecting your territory, fighting back, or there's something here that's blocked. Or you block something here, yeah, the moon here, the moon here, they both full. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you there there could have been a lot of people like trying to come up against you here with with these six wands down here. Okay, yeah, the six of wands. And there's that's you with the seven of wands. So yeah, whoever this is right here has lied. They got like a, at least like six or more people to come up against you. This is a smear campaign. And they try to throw the rock and hide their hand. And I feel like this is you. It's, it's like a lot of people coming up against one person and you're still winning with the chariot. Okay, what's the sun? Ciao. And I feel like they're like depriving you at your own expense. It's like this person does magic on you or something or they... They're just very manipulative. This person here feels like they can run some shit or dictate your life or oppress you or control you in some sort of way. What's the damn, what's the sun right here? Yeah, the fool, yeah, freedom, complete freedom. I feel like you're going into a new beginning or you have started a new beginning here, but I feel like you're releasing something or letting something go or, or you have... I feel like the only thing you need to continue to do here is continue to shine. Literally, your shine, your light is irritating the fuck out of somebody and it's exposing somebody just by you doing you or just like leveling up continuously and ignoring whatever the fuck this is. I feel like this is what's causing this person to look dumb to everybody else. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm hearing something about somebody's mood, 818 on the clock. So like when you wake up in the morning, you could feel like better. Maybe usually when you wake up, you're not a morning person. So things are just dragging, you know, you drag your feet or you're lagging like, oh, I got to do this today. I don't want to do it or whatever. But I feel like something about your mood is getting better. Okay, maybe it's because something that you're doing with your routine or... I don't know. I just feel like you, you maybe you're just a good transmuter. You know how to transmute this energy, just period. Yeah, so so let's see. What's uh <clears throat> extremely religious and judgmental and tries to push their agenda? Somebody somebody needs to get the fuck. This could be a religious person, but yeah, page of souls in reverse. Somebody's like sending you the evil eye or gossiping. Okay, and I feel like you don't even talk to this person with the page of swords in the reverse. It's like somebody is giving out the wrong information. It's like they're a loser. What's uh more uh more focused on their looks because there's nothing upstairs. This is stupid. Okay, the two of cups, Cancer, Venus. What's more focused on their looks because there's nothing upstairs? The Knight of Swords. So there could be some sort of big changes here that are happening within a connection. Okay. Um, some of y'all could be reuniting with someone or reconciling your differences. But if that's if that's not the case, this could be you already in a connection where you you have this mutual respect for somebody. You and somebody here respect each other, y'all love each other, or this could be some sort of partnership, whatever. This could even be twin flame here with the with the swans in the background here and this water. But somebody could be like attacking your, your connection or there's like big changes that are that's coming. Okay, maybe opportunities that need to be seized here. I feel like with the Knight of Swords, I feel like you're staying focused on something. Somebody keeps on like paying people to do things to you. It's like real crazy with what I'm picking up on. Somebody, this person here, they're, they're getting ready to be done for, though. It's cool. <laughs> like, it's all good. Whoever this is doing this shit, they're getting ready to be wiped the fuck out. <laughs> like, and that's just what it is. They're getting ready to meet their maker for sure. Justice with the Eight of Swords and the damn Death card. Somebody is bound to be sent up out of here. Just period. So, I don't know. But what's the Two of Cups? Someone is, like, real nasty. Yeah, the moon. What's the Two of Cups with the moon? So, we got the sun and the moon here. So, violence, yin and yang. Okay, somebody's like attacking a connection or something. What's the sun with, I mean, what's the moon here in the two of cups? There could be a relationship a relationship here that you're keeping private. Okay, the three of cups. I feel like you could be celebrating something in private here. Maybe there, there could be some sort of reconciliation. Yeah, somebody wants to like reconcile with you, but I feel like you're in a relationship already or something. There could be someone that wants to reconcile with you or there's something going on with a third party. Definitely, I feel like, I mean, there there's like this this attention being drawn to you or, or, or like um coming your way that I feel like you really don't even want. I feel like the three of cups with the moon is like deception or somebody's lying to these third parties about you and what's going on with you and shit like that. More focused on their looks because there is nothing upstairs. I feel like maybe this could be a lying ass third party or something like that. What's the moon? These are just dumb ass hoes. These are people here that... that that fuck off, they they party too damn much. It's like they ain't got shit going on with their life. What's the moon? What's the moon? Something is real fucked up here, Cancer. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, exactly. Something here is just not, this is like bad karma, bad fortune, things being delayed, set back. I feel like there's like opposing forces here as well. Okay, it's... <clears throat> The lovers with the knight of wands somebody 
whoever this is right here, this King of Swords in the reverse, this person is going to continue to fuck with other people and just bring you up in a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever this is really got some sort of personal vendetta. I feel like, bitch, if you got a problem, you need to speak the fuck up. That's how I feel at this point. Because somebody's a fucking clown. This person here, they're going to get their ass... They're going to get their ass handed to them, though. So it don't even matter. Because they on their way. It's coming. It's coming up real strong. It's coming. Okay? No worries. But I'm just saying. This person got a lot of options or they got people around them that they they i don't know what's this moon here with the will of fortune in reverse i feel like they, they ain't gonna see what's gonna hit their ass like real shit yeah the two of swords somebody yeah the tower somebody here not getting ready to see something that's gonna hit their clown ass whatever this is Somebody here could be wanting to, yeah, it's like, it's like somebody here could be wanting to call like a truce with you, but they got bad karma. Whoever this is, is attached to bad karma. And I feel like they're just trying to intervene in your connection or get in the way, or they need some sort of energy supply to save them from whatever the fuck this is that's coming after they ass. Cause it's coming, whatever it is, this could be like a lot of people or like a third party that's attacking this person because of something that they did in regards to you. But I feel like you're moving on. I feel like the two of cups upright. It's somebody here that you cherish. Y'all got mutual respect. This is a union, a partnership. Two people in love with each other. I feel like you're not in love with this clown asshole. And if you were, I feel like, why? <laughs> why are you? Okay, like, for real. Two of Swords is a lot of anxiety. It's, it's like feeling overwhelmed or, or um, somebody's like stuck in the middle of something. Or they put you in the middle of some shit. You know? And now they ask, what's the three of cups? Something is out of stalemate. Yeah, it's like, what's the what's the three of cups? The nine of pentacles. What's the three of cups with the nine of pentacles? Virgo, Venus. The hierophant, yeah, who the fuck? Yeah, this is the higher friend in the reverse. Yeah, this is this religious group or something. You could be dealing with a Taurus, the Ace of Pentacles, the, uh, the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Something going on with someone's finances, 888 here. Okay. So, uh, I want to call you Taurus. You got a Taurus in your chart, Cancer, but or Virgo. Someone's gonna have a Virgo Venus. So you could be being celebrated here when it comes down to your business. Okay, I feel like with the Hierophant in reverse, this could be uh, uh, something here that you're doing that's causing a lot of judgment. Yeah, with a lot of religious people. These are people that are religious here. I feel like you could be, you could maybe have a spiritual business possibly, and it's something that you do that's just not religious. It's these are a group of fucking cult members. This could be like a church or some sort of conglomerate or something like that. These are like dark. These are dark people, though. It's like, mm -hmm. they could be trying to attack your business or you just have a business where you're doing something that's causing a lot of judgment. And I feel like you get celebrated for it with the nine of pentacles. You are wealthy. You're secure. You, you can have status here. Um, and I feel like you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. Okay, you're being blessed for whatever it is that you do. And somebody here feels like, oh, I don't know what the fuck they feel like. And I feel like it, it don't even matter, to be honest. Like, dead ass. What's this hierophant in the reverse? I feel like you're a rebel here, Cancer. You're like you're doing your own thing. I feel like somebody here needs to back the fuck up. Yeah, look at that. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. A jealous ass hoe. A jealous, competitive ass, losing ass bitch. Whoever this is. Somebody could be an Aries, Taurus, Cusper. What's the uh who does Queen of Wands in the reverse? This person is promiscuous. Very much so jealous. And I feel like they're a dark witch here. What's this hierophant in the reverse with the Queen of Wands in the reverse? There's something going on with this damn third party. They're attacking you. 
And I feel like whoever this King of Swords is, they bring this attention to you. They're a liar. What's the heart from the reverse and the Queen of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, the Nine of Swords in the damn reverse. Okay. <clears throat> this could even be like two for some of you. This, um... First of all, this nine of swords in the reverse with the queen of wands in the reverse and the hierophants in the reverse. This is like somebody here that's like, like in deep, deep regret. They're being haunted. <clears throat> okay. They're being haunted here, just period. With all this right here like this, somebody is like, it's a lot of fear, overwhelm. It's like the nine of swords in reverse is already bad. I mean, upright is bad. But with it in reverse, with all, with the surrounding cards, somebody is just like in deep regret like they're they're depressed or something is just like hella fucked up because normally this would mean seeing a light there's a light at the end of the tunnel somebody here don't see no way out of something or mm -mm. somebody's in deep regret about dealing with this queen of wands in reverse getting them getting themselves involved in this cult and shit like that. Like something is really blowing up. And now somebody is scared or they stuck here or whatever. And they, I feel like they're trying to get away. It's like, hell no. <laughs> yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Whoever this is, they coming with their fucking burdens and their baggage. Okay, it's like somebody wants to apologize or say something. But they're coming with a bunch of fucking problems, I'm telling you. And I feel like, yeah, with the temperance, I feel like spirit is protecting you from this person, possibly, because it's just. <sighs> What's the Knight of Swords? So just be mindful of this here. What's the Knight of Swords, man? Yeah, th there it is. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's like an argument here or there's like a lot of animosity. Okay, somebody is a lot of hostility or somebody's in a hostile environment. Okay, yeah, the Tower, the Page of Cups. Child. What's the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Wands? So... Nine of Swords with the Ace of... I mean, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Sorry, not the Ace of Wands. Somebody has made the wrong decision. Like, they keep making the wrong fucking decisions. Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah. Mm. Mm. This is some aggressive-ass energy, um, Cancer. Whatever this is right here, it feels nasty, too. Like, I felt it. Okay, there's somebody here that's like really mad. Okay, this 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 high priestess in reverse is like unwanted attention. Okay, Pisces here with the page of pentacles in the reverse. This 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 high priestess in the reverse, page of pentacles in reverse is like a lot of dark magic. This is a dark witch here that is um attacking you. Okay, they are. That's just period. This is some aggressive energy. I feel like this is like chaos. Somebody trying to get you to argue with your person or fuck up a connection here. And whoever this King of Swords is, they're trying to like run away. They sent these people to you though. Whoever this is right here, they literally did this. So this is who you really need to be fucked up about. This King of Swords right here, this person right here, they got they got some shit coming for their ass. Cause they thought that, oh, well, I'm not a part of it if I don't get my hands dirty or if I don't, if I don't actually do whatever i want these other people to do to this person I, you know bitch you're gonna be the first ones to get taken out <laughs> you're gonna be the first one okay period because you're the one that started this shit you started it and now you got just somebody attacking the fuck out of you i feel like this is somebody here literally attacking you your money your business everything ciao Ooh -wee. I don't know. This energy feels real aggressive, you know. Sorry that the reading's got to be like this, but honey, with, with you know, with new levels comes new devils. I feel like you're definitely, obviously, leveling up. But honey, I'm telling you, this next phase, I feel like you know, 
the more you level up, the, the, the stronger you get, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But... Mm -hmm. Sure, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I'm just looking. What's the, uh, they can't get over you, so they are stalking your social media. I feel like they both are doing this, but it's like this person could be paying them to do this, too. Somebody here is a fucking clown. This person right here is a bitch ass, a bitch made, losing ass little boy. I feel like that's a man here. Okay, what's this fucking, what's they can't get over you, so they are stalking your social media? It's like, bitch, somebody's, like, really trying to rage, wage, like, spiritual warfare on you. It's really bad. <laughs> like, it feels bad. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. What's the, uh, they can't get over you, so they are stalking your social media? Yeah, the Tower. Yeah, so somebody is finding out that you're getting new love here. There's, like, new love, or somebody's, like, watching a connection, watching a relationship grow, or watching you just be happy be be emotionally fulfilled somebody's like no why, why would i let you be emotionally fulfilled you know what i'm saying this is a mess aries scorpio we got cancer pisces scorpio so there's like this chaos this disruption or whatever this is it's like amping up this could even be a tower moment to show you something about your own gifts your own um, some, something that's coming up it's something that's brewing maybe within you that's getting ready to kind of like um be shown or you're getting ready to do something because I feel like this is going to piss you off enough for you to kind of like for, for the spirit is trying to like maybe push you into doing something okay yeah it's like pushing you into your purpose the star the empress and the queen of pentacles Whatever this is, it's like to push you into something, okay? That's why this shit is like feeling like how it's feeling, I guess. If you look at it that way, if you don't look at it as like, oh, you know, getting all mad and shit like that. I mean, it's enough for you to get mad about, I feel like. But I feel like this is something here is trying to, spirit is trying to teach you how to transmute this energy. I feel like you're a, you're a very powerful person, so you, you know how to do whatever this is. What's the Ace of Cups? Okay, yeah, the five of swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody's being revengeful or spiteful. Okay, or somebody's trying to escalate. It feels like somebody's trying to escalate something, really. You know, or they try to. This could be like the ending of some sort of conflict or somebody like wants to communicate. What's the what's the five of what's the uh ace of cups with the five of swords in the reverse? Um Okay, yeah, the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here feels defeated because <laughs> I feel like you set your boundaries or you're speaking up about something, you're saying something. This could be even something that you're expressing. You're saying it and it's, 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 it's the truth. Okay, whatever this is, it's coming out, it's the truth and it's causing chaos somewhere else. Or in their life. So it's like, yeah, this king of souls in the reverse. Yeah, and then we got the king, the queen upright. So yeah, somebody feels defeated. And they feel like they have to walk away. <laughs> okay. Somebody is, is like humiliated. Somebody feels like they're getting humiliated by you. Or they feel ashamed or something like that. Child, what's the tower? Yeah, the five of wands, it's chaos here. Whatever the fuck this is, it's chaotic as fuck. Okay, there's like fights or something getting ready to break out or happen here. Something is something is really, really fucking messy, bro. I'm telling you. It's really messy. You guys would be saying five, five, five. What's the tower with the five of wands? Yeah, with a community. <laughs> okay, or somebody's in competition with you about a union or something. Someone could have an Aries, Venus. We got Leo, Saturn, placements. I 
I feel like somebody too, this bitch over here, this, this is the kind of people that this King of Swords fucks with. They fuck with hoes that will attack the other woman because this man here don't want to be with them. You know what I'm saying? Because a man don't want to be with them or because, you know, that's what I'm saying. This is all centered around you here, Cancer. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay, the Four of Wands is definitely like, I mean, upright. This could talk about like a celebration or um a, a union that you're stepping into here or there's a uh, there's goals and things like that that you're completing okay and i feel like you're celebrating yourself i feel like you're proud you're showing that you're like proud of yourself proud of your achievements and your accomplishments and somebody feels like that's a threat it's like bitch excuse me <laughs> like what's what's this four of wands right here or somebody's mad because you're in a twin flame connection and yeah, the nine of wands. Yeah, you, you work hard for the shit that you got. And <clears throat> just period. I feel like you're really defensive regarded or you're protecting yourself. It's just like an ongoing battle. I feel like there's an ongoing battle with a connection. You and your person's mood. If you're with somebody here, y'all mood could be up and down all the damn time. It's because of all this fucking shit that's going on in the background. Somebody continuously attacking you. Okay, it's just like ridiculous. What's the four of wands with the nine of wands? Someone could have a sag moon, but I feel like you're not giving up. This is like perseverance, okay, and um, resilience here. What's the four of wands with the nine of wands? Yeah, the knight of pentacles and the three of swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's all because somebody won't release you. Yeah, four of cups. Somebody won't release you. They won't let you go. Okay, with that three of swords in the reverse, I feel like it's like, I mean, I feel like clearly you're healing, you're getting over somebody, you've been healed, you've been let them go, but I feel like they're holding on to trauma, pain, and I feel like they're they're strategically or, or trying to, you know, they're trying to be methodical or whatever this is. And they're getting rejected or whatever this is that they've been trying to do over time is getting rejected because you're moving on. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Literally, it's like, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're moving the fuck on. Somebody here is just, I feel like you're done with this fucking person. You're done. And then they got people attacking you. I feel like they attack you too. They attack you as well. Yeah, it's like, bitch, somebody really is trying it. This is a mess. <laughs> Let me get my evil eye back. y'all i gotta see where okay is it this one that i want to pull from yeah um really think this energy was gonna come out but i mean shit it's some shit that you need to know like let me pull these astrology cards let's see give me some card spirit that's in alignment with this spread for cancer Scorpio, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Yeah, solar eclipse. Yeah, something is getting ready to fucking be eclipsed, just period. 
you know, uh, so it says transformation, secretive, obsessive, mysterious, intense, manipulative, destructive, jealous, primal, and lustful. So this could be a Scorpio doing this to you, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to mean that they're this bad person. It could be that you're dealing with it, or somebody could have a Scorpio North Node, or you got Scorpio in your chart. You're going through some sort of like transformation. It's clear, duh, but this could be a, um, a, uh, Scorpio that's in karmic energy. They're an unevolved Scorpio. Okay, yeah, the eighth house, Scorpio again. So, endings, beginnings, sex, the occult. Okay, yeah. Mysterious intensity, obsessions, the underworld, secrets, and shadows. Mm. There could be a Scorpio here, or that could be in your chart. Somebody, third quarter moon. Okay, it says forgiveness, contemplation, reflection, reevaluation, revaluation, introspection, revision. Changes are required. Keep trusting. All is not lost. Adjustments. Yeah, something. I feel like spirit is coming through to bring adjustments here. This could have something to do with the eighth, the eighth house. Definitely the occult. Okay, definitely that. Let, let's see. What's the eighth house right here? First quarter moon. Challenges. Okay, yeah. There, there's mm, in the underworld. Okay, so who ruled the underworld? <laughs> Anubis. Okay, I'm getting Anubis here. Um, who else? Ra? The god? Okay. Uh I think Matt works close to works close to like Anubis too. I feel like those are people from the underworld or they, they rule over the underworld here. They weigh the hearts of people that um are getting judgment. Like either your ass gonna go to heaven or hell, basically. Okay, either you won't, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but it's a first quarter moon. Challenges, time for action, breakthrough, old blocks and patterns, push through and stop at nothing, doing the work momentum. Yeah, it's something here that about your eighth house. Go look at your chart. Go look at where the eighth house is in your chart. Somebody got eighth house in their chart. What's, what else? Pisces. So we got Pisces here, Scorpio. So it says dreams, emotional, visions, illusions, escapist, confusion, mystical, sensitive, compassionate, healing, and intuitive. Yeah, and then it says your guides are helping you all as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this this is this is too somebody is, is waging warfare on you. And I feel like if your guides are anything like mine, okay, because I already know mine off bat is Anubis. I got plenty more. Okay. But Anubis here is not playing with you bitches. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But y'all waging all this warfare. Okay. All right. What's uh that's all I'ma say. Like, it's not really much that you need to do, Cancer. Just um protect yourself with uh some sort of rich some of y'all are into the occult too you're a good witch though i don't feel like you're dark and i just feel like there's a dark witch coming up against you same shit i told you like in the beginning those cards that i saw in the beginning you need to cleanse your energy and keep pushing through whatever the fuck this is because better say conjunction here so it says empowerment activates intensifies joining forces yeah focus concentration strengthens prominence and author authorizes so Pisces conjunct what? What is this working with? Semi-sextile. So something, okay, so something is going in your favor. Okay, yeah, we are in Pisces season. Let's see, you could be dealing with one. Okay, let's let's see what else. Your dreams could be telling you something here with this Pisces energy. Okay, yeah, new moon. A new start, first, fa first phases, look ahead, pay attention to new people opportunities and experiences that the universe puts in your path so something is working together with conjunction here okay so this could be you like joining forces with somebody you could be working with somebody this could be like your counterpart or something or this connection here is really um powerful what's conjunction here wolf moon it says ask your pack to assist you okay yeah <laughs> explore your own modes of expression be resourceful express yourself fully and use inst intuitive instinct
What else, Spirit? Uranus. Okay. Unexpected, yeah. Surprise, suddenness, revolution, unorthodox, freedom, genius, original insight, and inventions. Okay, so there, okay, yeah, Virgo. So, yeah, this guy has something to do with your work here. Somebody can have Aquarius in the sixth house or 11th house in Virgo. It could be flipped. Yeah, there, there's Aquarius. So, yeah, confirmation. Something about your work is getting ready to take off, or you're getting ready to invent something here. Or something could be happening unexpectedly here with a Virgo. Or you could have Virgo placements in your chart. Yeah, somebody here is an alchemist here. I feel like you have a good idea. Okay, you could be seeing a lot of bees or something. Or, okay, these are flies here. Or whatever. What kind of bug is that? I mean, but you could be seeing a lot of like, like I don't know, insects. I just heard bees. So bees could be significant. They represent fertility and um good fortune. Okay, good luck. And with the bulb here, so you could be having like new fresh ideas about some sort of alchemy. Okay, yeah, something here that you're getting ready to invent. It say witchy, analytical for Virgo. It says witchy, analytical, perfectionist, details, critical, responsible, humble, orderly, insightful, alchemist, and health. Aquarius, Saturn, return, grand trine. What's uh this this uh Uranus energy? So I can go, child. Yeah, opposition. Okay, yeah. This is all of a sudden like somebody coming out the blue here with some shit. Yeah, but like I said, it's putting you in your north node. It's sending you to your north node. So yeah, this is okay, yeah. Unbalanced calls out, mirrors, confronts, power struggles, polar opposites, and tests. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's uh Uranus with opposition here. Pluto, yeah. This is causing some sort of big change. There's a volcano back here. Okay. Yeah, full moon, child. I'm telling you. <laughs> Whatever this is, it came out during the full moon or something. Somebody feels seen. They don't like that shit. But it's a transformation, renewal, destruction, rebirth, death, cycles, black magic, struggle, power, taboos, and obsession, child. Mm. Whatever this is, it's for you to grow. Just just look at it that way and keep moving forward, okay? Mm. Okay, so what's, what's Virgo here? Something is blowing up. First house. Okay, so you can have... Let's see, it say the body, identity, consciousness, ego. Okay, so somebody can have a Virgo rising. Okay, child. Mm -hmm. Somebody can have a Virgo rising. The body, identity, consciousness, ego, beauty, and character, nature, gateway, beginnings, life, philosophy, and awakening. What's this Virgo here with the first house? Mm, Leo. Okay. <laughs> Somebody can have... It is crazy because I have... I don't know if you guys, but let me know in the comments if you do. I have a Virgo rising and I have a Leo rising. Okay. Am I, am I Cyril? Am I... And a Virgo rising in my tropical. So that's funny. Mm -hmm. Funny. Okay, so it says independent, confident, extroverted, ego, courageous, proud, playful, proudness. Yeah, I feel like you're proud of yourself or you're... Somebody feels like they want to humble you and shit like that. It's like, bitch, excuse me. <laughs> like, playful, proud, prowess, charismatic, expressive, and vital. Yeah, it said your life story hasn't yet unfolded. Yeah, bitch, this is just the beginning. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Like, child, I feel like you just getting ready to level up, uh, Cancer. Uh, let's see what else. I like these these astrology cards. Okay, we have Earth Element. So somebody here could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you need to work with the Earth Element here on your altar or something like that. Or get grounded, get outside, put your feet on, plant your feet on the damn ground. To, to get grounded, to balance your root chakra. But it's a stability, the physical world. Okay, yeah, it could be about your money too. You could do something online, but it say the world, nature, practicality, solid foundations, be patient, patient, being rooted and grounded here. Yeah. What else? 
south node okay yeah something is clearing out of your south node yeah here you are cancer okay life's debts the past past lives inborn gifts what's left unfinished lessons not learned and familiarity yeah so whatever is familiar to you you're you're it's time to leave it behind okay i don't know how to say this quincinx or something like that i don't know how to say that but it's a challenging require adjustments yeah Com complex complexity clashes contradicts frustration learn to compromise what's this um what's this south node energy right here cancer okay you came out it's a home family moody yeah introverted emotional lunar defensive nurturing intuitive insecure birth and receptive yeah so something going on with your um uh, something going on in your family here possibly cancer you do obviously rule like the first the fourth house i mean so yeah so so you're clearing out something here there could be somebody in your family or somebody you have children with that is a part of this fuck shit here or you're just breaking generational curses i don't know but this person is a part of it they probably came into this lifetime as a fucking clown just period and now you have to get rid of that clown ass Give me more on the south node here with cancer. Somebody could have a cancer south node. So you could have a... What's the opposite of cancer? Capricorn north node. Venus in the reverse. Love, beauty, romance, art, harmony, relationships, wealth, luxury, style, attraction, female energy, and indulgence. Yeah, so when it comes down to maybe love and, you know, Venus represents, you know, money as well. So something could be clearing out here from your past life in regards to home, family, a, a, a lover, okay, from the past, child, that's out to get you this lifetime. What's Quin, Quin Sunks or however you say that shit? What is this? Aquarius, okay, yeah, square. So something is there. There's a blockage here, with with square here. The future, mental expansion, edgy, unique, eccentric, independence, diverse, humanitarian, idealistic. So yeah, this this with this Aquarius energy here, it's it's time for you to break out of your shell and just show who show the world who you truly truly are. Okay, I feel like you. You you could be you could be inventing something or starting something. I feel like there's a lot of people that don't want you to do this here. They don't. I feel like you know Aquarius is very forward thinking. They're very independent. Okay, so I feel like you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart that's very important. You need to look at whatever that house is in or whatever. What's the what's this with Aquarius? Snow moon. Transition, low resources, hibernation, embrace change, renewal, cleansing, soul searching, darkness, scarcity, make plans for the future and rest. Yeah. Something here just feels really like out of control. It does feel like it's out of control, but it's it's yeah, go watch Aquarius's reading. Last night I put in their title, um, This is happening for you and not to you here. Saturn return. Paying your dues. Wake up call. Time to grow up. Clearing the past. Facing the truth. Aging and stripped down. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Somebody here. This person. Whoever these people are, they're a catalyst for your growth. That's it. That's how I look at all this shit right here. They're, they're just catalysts. Okay. And that, that's what keeps me afloat. When shit like this start happening. Okay. It's... Let's see, give me some cards that's in alignment with this right here for cancer. And you know what's crazy? Now that my face is like off the camera, I am, I feel like when people watch me, whoever these karmic hoes are that's attacking me too, because this is very resonant, like it's very resonant here. Y'all know I always resonate with y'all. I have a cancer Mars and for some reason that's a really, really strong placement for me. Okay, I need to figure out what house is in, but when when people watch me, it just feels like it's just so much negativity. My throat chakra start fucking up. It was in the beginning, okay, or I was I was clearing my throat, but y'all haven't heard me clear my throat in in a minute. Like the whole uh, the whole reading, root work. Seek someone to help you with a protection spell, okay? Yeah, and a stalker. 
Yeah, somebody here is a, is a real fucking clown. This is a real bitch ass person. Like a sorry excuse for a fucking human. Like real shit. It's like some sort of reptilian or something. Okay, they... Let's see, that makes me want to pull out my mystic deck. I don't know. Well, give me some cards here, Spirit, that's in alignment with the spray for Cancer. Okay, block solar plexus. I wanted to pop out. So it's a issues and intentions. It says authority, confidence, courage, energy, power, pride, respect, sensitivity, transformation, and willpower. So somebody's trying to block your fucking solar plexus. Okay. They're trying to stop you from feeling confident in whatever it is you're trying to do, create, build. Okay, or whatever. A family member is hating on you. Yeah, this is your raggedy ass family member or somebody you started a fucking family with. Okay, Mercury retrograde. When is this coming up? Isn't it getting ready to be another retrograde coming up? <laughs> Hold on, guys. Ooh, child. Let me see. Let me just, let me see something. Hold on. December thirteenth to twenty twenty three. I mean, December thirteenth, twenty twenty three to January first, twenty twenty four. Then April first to April twenty fourth, August fourth to August twenty seventh. Yeah, I mean, there is one coming. Okay, yeah. Damn. Oh, <laughs> we're in the shadow period. What's this? February, the end of February. Okay, yeah. Mm. oh boy okay let's see what else hating on your creativeness and ideas yeah somebody's trying to stop you from creating i feel like there's something you're getting ready to come out with honey and when this is something that's going to be huge because somebody really doesn't want you doing this child you're going to change the world with whatever this is with all this damn aquarius energy you know aquarius are very inventive they're very very inventive they just invent shit invent stuff <laughs> like i don't know very smart people though okay let's see what else cycles of bad luck yeah unfortunate events happening in threes Yerba Santa, uplifting aroma, inner carriage, increases psychic powers, healing, protection, a traditional remedy for coughing. What else? Black tourmaloin. I mean, sorry, black obsidian. So you might need some black tourmaline or tourmaloin or whatever. But it says carries a calming and positive energy that can help you remember to look on the bright side of things. What's this cycle of bad luck? What is that? Smoky cords provides a cloak of invisibility. Allowing you to go unnoticed and removing vulnerability. Okay, yeah. This is... What cycles of bad luck here? I don't know. Something could be happening in threes to somebody. Either it's you or them. Yeah, child. When shit hits the fan, this person will be ghost. Yeah, it's this person. I'm telling you. It's this fucking King of Swords up here. It's this King of Swords. They threw the rock and hit their hand. Now they got people attacking you. And I feel like they do this shit on... They think this shit funny. All right. Spreading rumors about you. Yeah, tap into your intuition. You already know who this person is. This is a jealous, hating ass little bitch. Whoever this man is right here, this is like this person here. This person could be like gay or something. No offense to gay people, but I'm saying somebody here is inauthentic with they shit. They don't want people to know that they're gay. They're a fucking clown. Somebody here, they, they, they deal with a lot of bitches here. They pillow talk with these hoes and get them to attack you. All kind of shit. Somebody's a weirdo. Yeah, an ex what? An ex-friend is still pressed about what happened. This could be like a friend for some of you. For some of you, it's not an ex, it's a friend. It's a fucking losing ass piece of shit. Okay, wow. Now we're flipping to your ex is preying on the downfall of your new love interest. <sighs> what else? 
this person here trying to go and cloak themselves and i feel like they can i feel like they try to use you to cloak themselves that's not working yeah the, the person causing you negativity is a water sign so cancer another cancer here scorpio or pisces okay then we have causing you to have flu symptoms fevers chills head colds congestion diarrhea and coughing karma's a bitch the evil eye that sent your way has backfired yeah somebody <laughs> this is a mess okay mm -hmm. stalker spying on your social media again what's this what's the person causing you negativity as a water sign causing you to feel lightheaded and severe headaches migraines what's causing you to have flu-like symptoms venus retrograde dealing with insecurities appearances appearance body image worthiness relationships sexuality okay yeah <laughs> causing family and friends to be mean and cold towards you mars retrograde yeah somebody is mad impulsive rage of anger hostility major blowouts fights and violence glamour magic i feel like this is what this bitch here this bitch is this this person right here i feel like honestly these are people that are possessed to be honest these are people that are possessed here what's what's stalker <laughs> i don't even know what to say yeah the person causing you negativity is an earth sign so you got an earth and a water sign here well who does earth sign towards Virgo, capricorn okay spirit that's too much Seeing dark shadow figures in your home. But sleep paralysis. Yeah, somebody's being haunted here. <laughs> sleep paralysis. Dark entities or demons hold your physical body down. While you dream. <laughs> somebody's being haunted. Mm -mm -mm. Whoever the stalker is, child. This person here. This, this is the person that threw the rock and hit their hand. They can have fire... Okay, well, so they could have fire in a chart, but air too somewhere. I don't know. Block third eye. Issues and intentions. Clear audience, clairvoyance, clarity, healing, illumination, imagination, visions, intuition, wisdom, and psychic abilities. So somebody's third eye could be blocked. I really don't feel like it's you, Cancer, but it could be. So if your third eye is blocked, you, block, you can need to practice visualization, go uh, uh, stargazing, or... um. Absorb some like sunlight, get outside in nature. Okay, that could help you with your third eye. Okay, or meditation, doing some yoga. Judging your family, yeah, background and culture. So somebody, uh, yeah, judging your spiritual or religious choices, child. Okay, it says all up in your business, getting tarot readings on you. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What's judging your family, background and culture? fire sign this person calls you negativity is a fire sign what's all up in your business blackmail digging up dirt on you to use later <laughs> neighborhood drama so this could be people around you it's just like bitch and you know what's crazy to me like these people don't say shit to your face i can't stand a pussy ass a pussy ass clown ass that's what all of these people are they do shit behind your back they're fighting you spiritually they don't have the balls to say anything to your face they don't okay so what's block third eye chakra and that's what's funny to me. So all you got to do is just return to center. For some of you guys, if you're in the occult, if you're into like um, mysticism and, and magic and things like that, if that's your like purpose, honey, I suggest you get geared up and start fucking do what you got to do. I'm telling you. Yeah, you have a family, a generational curse. Okay, yeah, what's block third eye? You need to fight back. Just period. Intimacy issues, STD, common infections, UTI, infertility, and causing you to miss or lose an opportunity. So somebody's trying to fuck with your sacral energy too, or... What's intimacy issues, STD? What is this? I feel like this is this uh, altering your values and morals on making life decisions. What's intimacy issues? Envious of your career and the money you made. Causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions, mood swings, child. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um.
I know this reading is long, but I feel like you need it, okay? I feel like you need... Okay, so let's pull from the self-care of Oracle. Give me a card, Spirit, that's in alignment with this prayer for Cancer. Give me a self-care card. What do they need to be doing? Massage, soak in a bath. Okay, yeah, with some candles, crystals. Yeah, you need to probably take a spiritual bath. Yeah, clean your space, child. Get your body moving, okay? Or something about your throat chakra could be significant. And you know what's crazy? I was singing my ass off in the car yesterday. <laughs> I was just singing, singing, singing. Yeah, deep breathing, intuition, take a walk. Yeah, okay, this is like, okay, yeah. You need to make time for self-care get out the house or whatever the fuck okay like real shit to balance your energy it says you have a unique voice and carry deep wisdom that the world needs to hear you can share your words in any way you like even sing singing them many of us have fear when it comes to sharing our voices but expressing ourselves through song can be unexpectedly freeing try writing a song for fun and as a way to convey what you are feeling sing it to yourself and notice how it makes you feel in the moment record it and play it back for yourself what emotions come up? Does it empower you or make you feel shy? Sing your favorite song in public at an open mic, singing circle, or karaoke bar to break through fear and, ex and experience new levels of self-expression. Sing at home or in your car. <laughs> to delight yourself and, and elevate the vibe. Sing to your heart's content. So for your journal prompt, what are your favorite song lyrics right now? How does hearing them make you feel? child okay well, let's so let's see for 34 massage <laughs> some of y'all need to go to the spa or if you, your lover is there ask them to massage you or you could be very tense you could be needing to do some yoga or something but it says bodies love to be touched massages are a vital part of self-care because most people live with some with some amount of discomfort sometimes specific places in our body scream out for attention through pain while others make more subtle requests through stiffness and limited mobility. Before you start a massage, scan your body from head to toe, feel into the areas where you're holding tension, set the intention of releasing your physical and emotional discomfort during the massage. If it's within your budget, book a massage with a professional as a royal treat for yourself. Alternatively, create a relaxing space at home with the subtle lighting, aromatherapy, and candles. And by setting an intention, massage your own Massage your hands and feet, exploring reflect, reflexology techniques or your own intuitive movements. You can also ask a loved one if they'd like to exchange massages with you. Remain mindful throughout the process and see what comes up for you on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level as you give and receive the gift of touch. So your journal prompt is, what part of your body needs a massage right now? Okay, and soak in a bath. Yeah, some of y'all need to do some water cleansing or, or something like that. Oh, Lord. 9-11 on the clock. Okay. You could be seeing those synchronicities. Okay, Spirit is telling me to look up 9-11. So let's see. Okay, this landed on um, what was highlighted that came up on Google is something about your money. Let me go back because now I lost it. Angel 9-11 is financial confirmation that you're on your way to a positive change. And it's a sign of transformation, that the transformation you've been praying for and working for is heading your way soon. So something is changing about your money. It's something that these bitches don't want you to do. And I feel like you're getting ready to do it. <laughs> like, excuse me. No, money isn't the most important thing in life, but it but it sure is helpful to our daily lives, isn't it? While no one wants to rely on a monetary number to rule their decisions, sometimes it's inevitable. Budgeting takes on a whole new meaning when you only have a few dollars to work with. 
By sending you the message of 9-11, your angels are letting you know that the feeling of money ruling your decisions is not permanent. They want you to keep working towards your goals and incorporating your passions. Should you choose to do so, you just might prosper more than you ever thought possible. Remain positive and keep going. Don't forget that your angels are by your side to guide you and want you to succeed. Okay, yeah. What you keep seeing, angel number, I mean, why you keep seeing angel number 911. Patterns reveal themselves to us in our lives constantly. What's really important is when we notice those patterns. Okay, yeah. Perhaps you've been feeling fearful of what your life looks like and how it's different from what you thought it would be, or you don't feel secure about your place in the world. When you're feeling those insecurities and notice that, that angel number 911 is showing up for you, it means that you can relax and lean into where you are right now. Your guardian angels are protecting you from whatever may bring you harm, including yourself. Mm. regarding transformation and angel number 911 signifies that a positive rebirth is going to happen in your life soon if you've been feeling stagnant or just plain bored this number should act as a catalyst for your artistry and motivation this could be a sign that it's time for you to work harder and push past any underestimate underestimations of yourself so, for example, if you've been putting off that DIY project, now will be the time to start it. You won't regret the outcome. Either you'll succeed or you'll have the experience that you can learn from. Angel number 911 relates to untapped potential as your spirit guides want you to know that you have the power within you to reach any heights that you set your heart to and they're supporting you the entire way. Take this time to reflect on things you've been ignoring, like making that online shop to sell custom earrings or finally taking your... You're baking to the next level and making it your career and take the first step. As for confirmation, angel number 911 is showing up in your life to reassure you that you can give into your heart's desires, whether you've been feeling like those desires aren't valid or that they couldn't possibly provide for your family. Your angels want you to know that they are valid and you can use them to benefit your life. When you allow yourself to live out your passions, beautiful things can happen. Okay, Cancer. Child, I'm just trying to give y'all all the fucking uh shit that you need, honey, because ground yourself, yeah. Singing, singing can help you ground yourself. Okay, that came up under that, or you need to get outside. Drink tea and connect with fire. Some of y'all can need to do a fire burning ritual. Whatever it is that you don't want, um, whatever it is that you want to get rid of or release. Uh, write it on the paper and burn it in a, a safe like a fire bowl something that fire can like withstand okay you don't want to set yourself on fire or if you if you can do like a bonfire do it outside or whatever but oh it say connect with fire or you could be needing to do some candle magic if you're into that Ooh, child. okay one more card and then i'm done uh. And then I'm done here. Give me a card straight that's in alignment with cancer so I can go. Cause... Chocolate aphrodisiac. Which is cottage security. So let's see. This deck is called Witch's Kitchen. I love this deck like a lot. One, two, three on a timer. So it says, food of love, goddess divine, sensual pleasures, purely, purely mine. Taste me to arouse desire. My delights will take you higher. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. So it says, um... You've been starved, starved of pleasure and your need to be desired is reaching its boiling point. Let libido issues be a thing of the past. Explore every sensual area until you are aroused by lust for life and diverted from any from an unhealthy hedonist, hedonistic lifestyle for self-indulgence and a lack of restraint and bite addiction. Now carefully peel back my wrapper and inhale the heady delights of my aroma. I mean the heady delights of my aroma. Allow your taste buds to be tantalized as you become aroused by the erotic stimulant of my ingredients. I am the ultimate love potion. So pop me on your tongue and allow the power of Aphrodite, the goddess of love, to slide smoothly down your throat. Deeply embrace the warm, stimulative effects of my love. Filch, 
my love and get in the mood as you light a few candles play some soft music and indulge your senses to get your mojo back some of y'all need to release here if you're not having sex maybe you need to masturbate or something like that okay sounds about an aphrodisiac child <laughs> what <laughs> Somebody, this is just. It says chocolate face mask for an antioxidant spa treatment at home. Okay, so it says melt two bars of dark chocolate in a bowl. Mix in two to three cups of milk, one teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of sugar. Allow it to cool and then apply to face and neck. Leave for 20 minutes and rinse off with lukewarm water. You will notice smooth and soft skin almost instantly. <laughs> It's a lot of synchronicities in this damn reading. I love chocolate, y'all. Chocolate is like, I love chocolate to death. <laughs> like, I'm a chocolate fiend, honey. 9.19 on the clock, I love me some chocolate. Chocolate ice cream, chocolate milkshake. I like milkshakes more than I like ice cream. Okay, but... Mm. Child, I don't know. But this was your reading, Cancer. This is your reading. Okay. I hope you got some clarity. All right. You know, I'm praying for y'all. Okay. Well, for us. <laughs> just work through this energy. Okay. Really, really just keep, you know, just do what the, the, uh, the car said. Okay. Because you see what's going on. So, you got to buckle down, Cancer. All right. So, um, this was your reading. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.